taking 75 seconds to look back at some of the more meaningful moments in this sport. And since we're here at the LA Coliseum, we have to look back at last year's historic race. It's a beautiful day in downtown Los Angeles as NASCAR's best have gathered for the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum. Ready for everything. Kyle Busch pushed up in turn one and Todd Reddick got inside. Thank Ricky you. Stenhouse has spun at turn four. Something broke on the front end. The power steering belt is gone, Denny. 14 pulled off. Fourth place. Bro. Now Tyler Reddick is down on the apron. What is happening? Kyle Busch on the inside. Joey Logano on the outside. Oh, back bottom. to green. He's running him down. Oh, he Big gave him shot. a shot. Gloves are off. It's any man's game. Take care of your stuff for a little while. And this is good old-fashioned short track racing. 18 oh. to Kyle Busch looking underneath Kyle Larson. Kyle Busch is catching Joey Logano. Two to go, two. Joey Logano leads Kyle Busch by three car lengths to the checkered flag. Hey, baby. Woo. Oh, boy. Thank you. Great work, man. Awesome. It's so, so badass. First one on the next jet. Nice work. Oh, baby. So many takeaways from year one at the L.A. Coliseum for NASCAR. But the one that really stands out to me is two outstanding drivers at the front. Two of the best ever. Two-time champions, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, going for that first trophy at this place, Jamie. Well, it was an exciting race to watch. We know that qualifying, we talk about every week being important. It was extremely important here last year. And to me, the only thing missing from the race was, was Kyle Busch being able to move Joey Logano out of the way at the end and watch this place go crazy when that happens. Uh, but we learned a few other things things and that was that tire rubs weren't as big of an issue as we saw with with the older style car and in that little highlight reel we saw how hard you had to hit somebody to move them out of the way i think guys have learned from that and we're going to see a little bit more of that this year absolutely you saw attrition come into it right we we talked about this new card the unknowns of that a little bit of attrition with the 11 car as you saw but the beating and banging to your point i love the fact that these guys can really lean on these cars push each other out of the way not worry about those fender revs that are going to take them out only to get to that checkered flag first and don't forget as exciting as it was last season we are going to see the end of this race under the lights here yeah, it's going to be Coliseum. fun to watch yeah. so it's going to yeah. be so amazing larry uh, i know that you probably have a, a list of things that stood out uh, last season what are at the top well the i think the biggest thing and clint talked about what these drivers and teams understand about this car when they rolled through that tunnel right there a year ago they had zero pages in the notebook the drivers had no pages the crew chiefs had no pages now they have a year under their belt but what resonated with me after practice on saturday i went to the garage area and paul wolf joy logano's crew chief was just staring at the car and he said we're in big trouble they made wholesale changes they came out there they won the heat race and where they were so strong at the end better than Kyle Busch was on the long run but the most awkward moment of the race was basically when Ryan Blaney wrecked Eric Jones and they fixed his car or Ryan Blaney got wrecked and they fixed his car he had to go find his Hans <laughs> device because he had thrown it at Eric Jones yeah, it was on the racetrack <laughs> he's, he's not gonna get that one back moments, though I think the, the craziest thing to me like as, as Larry was talking there was when they were shifting I'm like there's no way they're gonna shift yes. on a quarter mile racetrack but they did we saw yeah. Chase Briscoe do that last year and had a lot of success with it. It is going to be a big weekend here. I do want to 